Well, hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and I thought I would try and see if you can draw on toilet paper. Let's try it. I decided to do something ridiculously silly and get out my fountain pens. This is my fancy new box that I got for them, and it's so nice. It's a big, heavy box. And it has another tray. I have room for more pens. Ugh. Yeah, I now, now have to buy more pens, don't I? Well, I'm going to use my Twisby Eco for this one because it's got the biggest nib out of all the ones I have. It's a medium, but it's still bigger than the others. And it might poke through the toilet paper a little bit less. I don't know. It, it's, it's a wild hope. <laughs> I decided to get the toilet paper out. I did put a piece of paper under it because I believed it was going to bleed through and it did. And I just started sketching flowers. I had to keep the pen kind of hovering over the surface of the toilet paper because it was going to catch at any given point and it bled like mad. So yeah, it's that kind of thing. Toilet paper is not really all that great for drawing on. But the reason that I decided to do this right now is because everybody's hoarding toilet paper. If you're watching this video off in the future, this is the period of the coronavirus pandemic. And we just are at the point where the United States is starting to close down schools and everything and do social distancing. I did this little meme that I created for the, uh, the time period we are in. And if you'd like to spend time reading that and share it, it's over on my blog. Just a little bit of silliness to add to the world right now because you know if we don't laugh we're gonna cry so why not draw on toilet paper i did find out when i was watching the news that there actually is a reason why people are collecting the toilet paper i thought it was just an urban legend that you would need a lot of toilet paper for this particular virus but apparently in some cases there are issues for which one might want to have extra toilet paper. I bought a brick in December, which was like a couple months ago, and that is enough to last me forever because I'm single and it's, you know, not something that you go through all that fast when you're just one person. So I'm fine with having plenty of toilet paper and I had it before everybody else started hoarding it and buying it all up. And that sort of thing is just taking over our world right now. I know the area that I live in is just gone nuts. Our schools are closed for the next six weeks. So while everybody is kind of excited right now about the idea of having a staycation of some kind, depending on your job, you may be working at home, but a lot of people who have service jobs or that sort of thing, are just not able to work and some of you are getting paid and I'm sorry that some of you are not. I hope that legislation gets passed so everybody gets taken care of. There are people like me though that this is really not a staycation at all. This is just my life. <laughs> this is just what I do. And for me, it's just time to get more work done. And which is a good thing right now because I'm not going to be eligible for all of those government programs and stuff. So I have to do my own thing to make some income. And one of the things that I want to share with you is that I have gotten some of that done already. I have two classes that I'm launching right now. One of them is called Copic Wildflowers. It is available at this moment. There's a link in the doobly-doo at the time of the launch of this video. There are five different types of Copic Wildflowers that you'll learn to draw in the class. They're going to be a lot of fun. They make really pretty cards. You can add a stamp sentiment to them. And I have some ideas for different layouts you can use with them. And then you can just do all kinds of flowers once you have those skills and do lots more. And it'll be really fun. So why not? It's a nice inexpensive mini course that you can take and learn how to do flowers. The other one is not available at the time of this launch because I'm not quite finished with building the classrooms yet, but it'll be done this weekend. So keep an eye out for storybook scenes. This one, I can really picture a lot of the stamped images that everybody uses on cards right now being able to be used with these scenes. And I'm making them really simple, clean types of color saturated images. 
They're going to be so much fun to play with. So if you're interested in taking that one, then I'm going to pop the link into the doobly-doo as soon as the class is ready and launched. And I'll also post it over on my social media so that you are aware and also send it out to my email list. So there you go. All right. The rest of this video is dedicated to a crazy project that you might like to try at home if you're not interested in drawing on toilet paper. And this one is starting by creating a background. Mine is a big one. You could do it on a smaller sheet of paper. And I have a couple different paint colors that are mixed up. One, this one is phthalo green blue shade. And you'll notice it's kind of on the bluey side. And I thought I would do the yellow shade as well so that you could see the difference between the two of them, make it a little bit of an educational art lesson. And you can do this in any colors you want since March 17th is around the corner and that is St. Patrick's Day. And we're all gonna be doing online celebrations since all the parades and things have been canceled. I thought it would be fun to do something with a little tiny bit of a nod to St. Patrick's Day. So that is the phthalo green yellow shade. You can kind of see the difference between the two colors right there, but you can also see it a little bit more as it dries than you can right now because the paint is wet. Now, if you're going to kind of blend out some of the colors like this, don't blend everything. You want to have some hard edges. You can do this with watercolor. You can use Yupo and alcohol inks. You can use all different kinds of things. Anything that's going to create an interesting background where you'll have hard edges that you can trace. Because I've had a lot of people asking how you do really loose types of doodling. And something like this is going to help because if you have all those hard edges, you can take a pen and trace around those edges and you're just making shapes. And that's what I struggle with because every time I try to draw, I tend to draw, I try to draw a thing, an object. And I want to learn how to just draw from instinct, draw from just the way my hand wants to move. And doing something like this is really helpful in creating something like that. I've done this a little bit on Instagram TV videos, but I thought I would do it here on YouTube on this project. Now I happen to be using one of my fountain pens, but if you're not gonna add any more water to this, you can use any kind of pen you've got in the house. Use a Sharpie, use a Micron, use a ballpoint pen. Whatever you wanna use will work just fine. You could also do a sheet like this and get it all dry and then cut it up into quarters and give one to everybody in your family and give them a pen and just sit around and draw together. It'd be kind of fun. Mine is going to have a little bit of a St. Patty's Day theme because in and out between all of the doodling, I'm going to add some shamrocks into mine. So I'll have something to share on St. Patrick's Day. So it's kind of a bummer that St. Patty's Day is going to be in the midst of the coronavirus time away, our little time outs that we're having. So we're not going to be able to go to parades and go out and celebrate and have, you know, green drinks and green foods and green tacos and green whatevers. Hopefully you've got something that you can celebrate with at home because it's a fun holiday for lots of people. My birthday also is coming during this time period. So I'm kind of a little bummed that I'm going to be spending my birthday locked in the house and yeah, not getting to see people. So that'll be a whole lot of not fun. But if you would like to send a birthday card over on my website, there's a contact page that has my PO box and I am going to sneak out to the PO box periodically because I have to get out of the house at some point. I can't just always stay here. I do take the dogs to the park even though we're supposed to all be staying in the house and staying away from people but I figure the dog park is kind of an open area and I just don't talk to people I just kind of steer the dogs off to a corner of the park where there isn't anybody so that we can have our little playtime outside and then I'm going to swing by periodically to check the P.O. box as well so if you want to send something and make my day you're welcome to do that because it's going to be a stinky birthday. So there you go. But one part of it that's not going to be stinky and that is also something I'm really grateful for is that I was exposed to the coronavirus a couple weeks ago and I never came down with it. Fortunately, I didn't know until I was pretty much past the 14 days that they say that you should 
keep yourself away from people. And I'm really glad because I would have spent 14 days just panicking that I was going to be sick and all that sort of thing. I never did get sick, so I'm fine. I hope that I wasn't a carrier. I hope I didn't make anybody else sick. But if you end up getting exposed, do yourself and do the world a favor and like hide out. Don't go giving it to anybody else. I know it's hard. I know we're all going to start going stir crazy when the time wears on. You know, the first couple days is not going to be bad. We're, everybody's going to think it's a vacation and eventually it's going to get stir crazy. So just be careful, be safe and keep your friends and family safe too. I hope you got a little something out of this silly little random video. There are links to at least one of the classes in the doobly-doo and there will be another one very soon. So I hope that one of those will be entertaining to you and teach you a little something about art and get you excited to go make things. And maybe you'll paint one of these backgrounds and start doing some doodling too. Thanks so much for tuning in for this video. Leave me a comment if you wish and I will see you guys later on. Take care. Bye-bye.